For over a month, NASA has remained unusually silent about 3I Atlas, the interstellar object that recently passed perihelion and baffled astronomers with its erratic brightening and vanishing tail. What's even more alarming is that several observatories across the U.S., Japan, and China have reported being restricted from sharing new visual data. Independent astronomers claimed that images and videos submitted to public archives were quietly removed or marked as verification pending, effectively blocking public access. Normally, NASA promotes transparency during such cosmic events, but this blackout feels deliberate. Amateur astronomers from Tokyo's Saitama Observatory, the Kawa Arcto team in Spain, and a few Chinese observatories released frames showing 3I Atlas during its closest approach to the sun moments before the images were reportedly taken down. What did these astronomers really capture? And why was the world denied a chance to see it? Let's see some of the videos and images from Japan, China, and various amateur astronomers who captured 3I ATLAS during its perihelion footage that was later denied and suppressed by NASA. This particular clip was taken by the National Astronomical Observatories of China on October. 29th when 3i Atlas was at its closest point to the sun. In the video, the object appears to emit a faint blue beam toward the sun's surface, seemingly, disturbing the solar plasma which then reacts and strikes back toward the object. This is the clip from another observatory same footage, but zoomed in. Although the footage has been enhanced using II for clarity, it was reconstructed directly from the original observational data. When it was first released, many astronomers dismissed it as fake because no visible cometary tail could be seen, something that contradicted all known comet behavior. But in a striking turn on November 6th, Spain's Arno Weiss Observatory captured a verified image confirming that 3I ATLAS indeed had no tail after perihelion. This finding indirectly supports the authenticity of the earlier Chinese clip raising questions about why NASA has remained completely silent ever since. And China is not alone. Just a day later, on October 30th, the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan released another clip of 3I ATLAS, and this one was even more revealing. Captured by a spacecraft position much closer to the sun, the footage shows 3I Atlas from the side, clearly appearing as a long cylindrical structure, rather than a typical comet. What's truly shocking is the visible light radiating from the object's surface, not reflected sunlight but a steady glow that looks more like artificial illumination. And yes, there was also no visible tail or coma. Moreover, 3I Atlas doesn't appear to be moving or tumbling through space. Instead, it remains stationary, seemingly holding its position as it faces the sun directly, as if it were designed to withstand or interact with solar radiation. The clip quickly went viral across Asian and European social media, sparking debates among astronomers and researchers about its origin and authenticity. Yet despite its worldwide circulation, no U.S. media outlet or NASA channel has acknowledged or shown this footage, maintaining complete silence over what could be one of the most extraordinary space. Observations ever recorded dot now comes perhaps. The most shocking footage yet from the Russian space agency Roscosmos State Corporation. Their clip, which has gone viral among Russian astronomers, shows 3I Atlas shining with an intensity that momentarily appears brighter than the sun itself. At the center of the object, a deep blue core can be seen glowing steadily, almost pulsing, as if energy were being generated or concentrated within. The footage was recorded during perihelion but was quickly dismissed by U.S. media as overexposed or digitally altered. However, days later, U.S. astrophysicist Avi Loeb commented that after perihelion, 3-1 Atlas did indeed become unexpectedly brighter and bluer than the sun in certain spectral bands, something natural physics can't easily explain. He suggested that the behavior might indicate an internal or artificial power source, potentially harnessing energy directly from solar radiation. This statement reignited the debate across the global astronomy community. If it's generating or collecting energy, it might be the first time humanity has observed something operating with technology beyond our own. And NASA's silence only deepens the mystery. Then comes the account of a Russian amateur astronomer, the same one who first discovered the bodies of interstellar objects years ago. He had been tracking 3I Atlas for months, convinced something about its motion wasn't natural. During perihelion, he released a video that briefly showed what appeared to be a tail.
but he later explained that it was only an optical illusion caused by the telescope's lens flare and AI-enhanced reconstruction of the footage. What's truly shocking, though, isn't the illusion, it's what the clip revealed about the object's survival. At its closest point to the sun, 3i Atlas was exposed to temperatures exceeding 5 500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize any known metal, rock, or spacecraft within seconds. Yet it remained completely intact. No fragmentation, no disintegration, no visible damage. This raises a question that has baffled scientists and engineers alike. What is 3i Atlas made of? What kind of material or shielding could withstand such extreme solar radiation without breaking apart? Its composition suggests something far beyond. Human technology, a design capable of surviving where no known probe, satellite, or comet ever could. If these clips seem fake to you, then watch till the end to know the proof. This footage comes from an anonymous amateur astronomer in the United States who chose not to reveal his identity. Fearing his life might be in danger. He claimed to have. Recorded 3IATLAS during its perihelion using a high-resolution solar telescope. And what he captured is unlike anything seen before. In the clip, thin filaments appeared to extend outward from the object delicate glowing structures that moved almost organically, resembling the tentacles of an octopus. These filaments seemed to reach into the solar plasma, drawing in streams of energy before retracting again. The phenomenon lasted only seconds, but the detail was unmistakable. According to the astronomer, this wasn't a glitch or artifact. The motion was deliberate and rhythmic as if the object were harnessing plasma directly from the sun. But it doesn't stop there. British UFO researcher Nick Pope, a former investigator for the UK Ministry of Defense, claimed that during a live broadcast by the European Space Agency, he witnessed something extraordinary. He said the footage showed thousands of small moving. Objects surrounding the sun, each one glinting like tiny metallic probes. According to Pope, these weren't solar particles or camera artifacts. They appeared to maneuver intelligently, as if maintaining distance from both the sun and from each other. He suggested that 3i Atlas might not be traveling alone, but could be carrying or deploying smaller companion probes, exactly what astrophysicist Avi Loeb had theorized months earlier. Loeb speculated that the object may release smaller entities that reach nearby planets while it continues along its course to the next star. But after perihelion, this object is changed. It turned bluer, its trajectory shifted, and many amateur astronomers around the world began sharing closely similar clips. Right now, something is happening in our solar system that's sending scientists scrambling for explanations. The interstellar object NASA has been tracking, 31A TLAS, is roughly the size of Manhattan. When scientists sent the footage to Professor Jack Gilbert at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, the microbiologist could hardly believe what he was seeing. That's a paramecium, he said, a single-celled organism normally seen under a microscope. A paramecium moves by waving thousands of tiny cilia, creating smooth, rippling motions that look almost choreographed. And now a structure millions of kilometers across was moving in the exact same way. How could a living organism resemble an interstellar object? The first group argued that 3i Atlas might be a living organism, not a ship, not a rock but a biological entity adapted for interstellar survival. They proposed that before it's close. Passed to the sun, it shielded itself inside a metal-like cocoon, a protective exhaust scale capable of withstanding heat and radiation. Then at perihelion, it opened that shell and absorbed solar energy to regenerate, feeding directly on stellar radiation. To them, this could explain why it appeared brighter and bluer afterward, because it was alive and actively producing energy. The second theory was even stranger. Other researchers suggested that 3i Atlas could be a hybrid, a fusion of technology and biology, an artificial craft with a living core or a living organism enhanced with engineered propulsion. That they argued could explain why it emitted thrusts like jets after it began to look organic. Now Avi Loeb directly addressed those who still insist that 3i Atlas is just a comet. To make his point, he showed a comparison clip of Comet Nishimura recorded on September 23, 2023. In that footage, Nishimura approaches the sun and within. Seconds, its glowing tail fades away stripped and vaporized by the intense solar plasma. 
The comet disintegrates just as every known comet does when it ventures too close to the sun's corona. But 3I Atlas behaved nothing like that. When it reached perihelion, instead of disintegrating or even dimming, it appeared to resist the solar radiation completely. Loeb pointed out that its surface brightness actually increased.